Hello, my Aquarius. Welcome back. All right, so you know the deal. It's a general reading. Take what resonates. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, a link to my website is in the description box below. All right, so um, what I'm going to do today, I'm just going to take some general messages from the universe for Aquarius, see what's going on there, what they want to show me. Then I'm going to look into the person you're dealing with, romantic or not. This could be, so, you know, only you're going to know. This could be a lover, a friend, a coworker, a boss, a, the mailman. Who knows? Who do you interact with? Who's relevant? What do they want to say to you? And what do you want to say to them? Now, in the pre-shuffle, I was picking up, I don't know if you know it yet, but you're going to re, some of you might already know, but you're going to reunite with somebody. This is somebody, I think you like this person. You've known them for a while. I want to say that they have dark hair. If their hair is not dark right now, their original roots are dark, like very dark hair. That'll apply to some of you, obviously, but I'm seeing you reuniting with someone. Other than that, I... And there are feelings here, but I'm sensing that you might think this person's a little bit of a pain in the butt, to be honest. <laughs> like this is a, this is not the easiest human to deal with. But they're fairly independent, and I think you like that about them. You're also looking independent. I feel I feel like you're working. You're just working. You're doing your thing. I sense that you work in a team environment as well. This is not like a solo, solo job, you know? You are a key person to this. I feel like I've said this to you in a previous, but you are very key to the function of how this goes. Like without you, there's a problem, you know? And then I'm also picking up something about a pregnant woman or a mother could be significant to some of you. So I don't really know. I don't know, I don't know why. All right, so universe, let's get some messages, please, for Aquarius. What do you want to say to Aquarius? Aquarius, what would you like to say to Aquarius, please? Aquarius. Aquarius, please. Oh. I'm hearing a pool. Something about a pool for some of you. I don't know if some of you have a pool. Now, all right. I'm seeing happiness and love here. So if you're not feeling the days, if, if, if you're not feeling this right now, the day will definitely get brighter. There's fulfillment here with the sun card and the angel of love. You know, this could be a relationship that will in the future be, there will be a lot of happiness here. There could also be a child. I'm getting, see, I'm picking up some, some like motherly energy. There's like a child, perhaps a little boy. I want to say a little boy. I'm just seeing future happiness in a lot of emotional fulfillment for you so I don't know if you're having a boy or somebody and this could be predictive again this might not happen till August I want to say um, but yeah this is very positive energy now I will say though there could be someone around you that gets jealous I'm sensing jealousy here or not trusting an individual when they're not around you. Feeling like soulmate energy for sure. But again, another good card, cornucopia. I feel like money, um, just your in general luck. A lot of positivity here is coming up for you in the future. So again, um, it's like things are going to kind of come into place. But you must follow your intuition, you know, where you feel instinctually guided to. It's like, I wouldn't be too stubborn here. There's, there's a softness that's needed to appreciate all of your abundance. I, I'm just seeing that you seem abundant to me. And abundance can come in many forms, you know. But definitely, 
definitely some happiness coming in for you. And there's there's got to be a little person involved in this. So if you're an actual parent or there's just going to be a child that comes into play or already is that is significant. I feel like you're fond of this little person. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's, that's what I'm really picking up. I mean, I know not everyone has kids, but I'm just seeing someone here. Either that or they bring out the child in you. So, all right, universe, give me messages from the person that Aquarius is dealing with. What does this person want to say to Aquarius, please? What does this person want to say to Aquarius? Ah. They... I feel like they're not really sure how to move forward or how they want to move forward or what what next step it is they want to take. Maybe this is in life. Maybe this is with you. I, I see somebody thinking about moving as well, whether that's you or them, but it's like causing this person, it's like, I don't know how to move forward after the disappointment that I feel. So something something may have kind of this person is just disappointed and now they're feeling like they need to make a, a move, but they're a little unsure. I feel like you could have had a falling out with this individual before and that's why they have this five of cups energy. Maybe it hasn't been fully healed, but I think it, I did see you reuniting with someone. So maybe this might be them. Um, because they are very watchful of you, whether or not you know it. Um, I feel like they kind of sense that you want to be independent and do your own thing, which is probably true. All right. Um, what does this person want to say to Aquarius? <laughs> yeah. They're not really sure what to say, to be honest. Could be a water sign or earth, perhaps. I feel like they're trying to figure out their emotions. There's confusion. They may feel like you give them mixed signals or they're just not really sure. They could be overwhelmed by something in their life as well. I'm sensing like trying to adjust. And they also want something to be consistent as well, but they do have a lot of emotion here for you with this Queen of Cups, so. But they're just, there's something that disappointed them or they just feel like, maybe it doesn't have anything to do with you at all. It probably does, but maybe there's something going on in their life where they're just a little bit disappointed. I just see, um, there might be something significant about this person's hand as well. Coming up in the future, somebody's hand. There could be some pain like here or something I'm just picking up all of a sudden. I don't know. This won't be, this hasn't been revealed yet. So this would either be this person, um, cause I'm picking it up under, under them or perhaps you, I don't know. You'll know, right? You'll know if all of a sudden you're like, ah, the cards got me. <laughs> all right. Uh, what does Aquarius want to say to this person? What does Aquarius want to say to this person? I kind of feel like you set things straight, to be honest. Like if there's confusion, you set things straight. This might be what you're good at. Specifically, maybe this is a work um, situation. Who knows? Uh, what does Aquarius want to say to this person? You will be speaking. Yes, you will. You want to reunite with this individual or you will. Um, it's like making nice but there's burden here. So you might feel kind of burdened by this choice. I don't know if you feel obligated or what the deal is, but you are definitely standing in your power here. So I feel like you're gonna communicate. You do wanna reunite, but you're not gonna tolerate a whole lot. See, you don't have confusion here. You're very direct, you communicate well, you could do business on the computer, some of you, or th there could be messages coming in in the future that could pick up. Um, yeah, but you do have passion for this individual. And I feel like you will kind of make it right. But again, this, this person can't mess with you. You don't, that, no. You know, like cause you more confusion. You don't like that. You have a lot of things 
um, that you have to do, I'm feeling like. What does Aquarius want to say to this person, please? You know, you both are having, you might kind of like to spend most of your time alone because you feel like this person, I don't know, you might feel a little bit bound to them or they're a little bit toxic for you or they have some dark secrets from the past. This could have to do with like sexuality or drugs or something like that that they hold on to and you're just very aware of this person their nature what they do so that's why i think you're taking on that like i do want to communicate i do want to make this work this partnership whether it's business or romantic but i'm not going to take this energy here you're not going to uh-uh it's very logical you're being very logical you set boundaries you're not playing basically <laughs> okay one more card yeah mother of swords see she does not mm -mm, mm -mm. she'll spend time alone she doesn't care you could be dealing with another um air sign or water sign but i um you might be able to drink quite a bit as well this person probably wouldn't be able to keep up drinking wise with you or somebody here can can handle a decent amount of alcohol that's random that would apply for some of you um, but yeah, so right now during this time with the retrogrades, there's just a lot of confusion going on with this individual. They're, they're emotionally really mixed up in this, but I think you're going to come bring clarity and stability and groundingness to it. I see the, I see the energy in this moving forward, both of you putting in work, but it will be slow because there's a stubborn energy as well. So, all right, that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Bye-bye.